Oh, oh hi. Uh, there's a lot to look forward to. We've got to get him on the show one of these days. Contact uh, us, Gary. You know where I am. AFLW season comes to its crescendo on Sunday over in Adelaide. The all-conquering Adelaide Crows taking on Carlton in the AFLW Grand Final. It's going to be hopefully going to be a fantastic game of footy. Somebody who's been there from ground zero uh, since the AFLW's inception is Sam Lane, and she's been good enough to join us. Hey. 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 Sammy, lovely to see you. Great to see you. I love this car. There it is, the cup. This the cup already. Cup. Don't you think it's bootylicious? I think it's fantastic. It's what It's it got is. no name, but um, it's going to be one on Sunday. And, and the only crucial part of a trophy design, I've said this, is that you can drink out of it. And <laughs> I think we've got it covered there. That I is fantastic. I think you could work with this, Smith. I could. Yeah. So it's fantastic. Not only do they get that, the team, the club gets that, but the players, <laughs> I hope we can pick that up on camera three there, every player will get uh, their own AFLW ring to commemorate their performance in the winning grand final side. So that's something for the players. Yeah, the game, of course, is on Sunday. You're going to be part of the commentary team, Sam, from uh, Adelaide Oval from midday uh, Eastern time. It, it is going to be... A How many will they get there, Sammy? They're hoping for over 20,000. That's unbelievable result, isn't it? the biggest crowd this season. And yeah. Adelaide is just so engaged. They are. Already going bonkers. Mm. And I know you, you pay particular attention to crowd numbers. And, in fact, your, your detailed analysis of crowd numbers is second to none. Have a listen yeah. to Sammy going through the semi-final crowd here. Sam Lane, the crowd looks pretty healthy. You've got a number for us. Is it healthy? It is a very good news story here. 7,830 is the official number. When they last met, round three last year, Crows won by seven points. There were 4,900 people who turned up. Now, tonight, they were hoping for between six and 7,000. We have exceeded that expectation. The official crowd, 7,830 after 18,429 filled the Geelong Stadium today. Well, that's all we've got time for tonight. I... What do you do? Did you do a head count? I don't know. <laughs> on about, I clearly wanted to talk about people. Well, are you sure? Uh, are you sure that was the correct number, or had two hundred more come in by the time you'd finished? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, numbers aren't my strong suit. I'm, I don't know. Well, Talking about the key people, is there a more important person on the ground come Sunday midday? than Aaron Phillips. Apart the from you, the runner. Thank you. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to him. Okay, great. Just the, the story, her story is phenomenal and what she produces as a crow is absolutely extraordinary. Yeah, and actually Good what grab. she produces as a, a footballer in this league mm. is so powerful. You know, yeah. she is the kind of person that draws people to the games. She was best on ground when Adelaide won the Premiership two years ago. She had 28 touches that day. I'm not going to go into the crowd. But I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think she she, she can win yeah. the best and fairest again for the comp. Yeah. And I say just name the medal after her, the Phillips yeah. medal. Does, Car okay. Does Carlton have a match-up for her, Sammy? Oh, not, not a natural one. I mean, she's one of those players, Sam. Like, how do you match up on the best of the best? Mm -hmm. You can only try your best. So yeah. the, the last time they played in the home and away season, Taylor Harris didn't play for Carlton. She's had the, the week that she had last week. Yeah. Her performance, given Harris the backdrop, well, Sam, Harris in the pre prelim last week against Fremantle, it was a pretty good. Pretty telling performance. Performance by her, I reckon. She's, and you would have got to know her a bit by being in the inner sanctum. She's one of a kind, Taylor. And Look at this, Sammy. This is a good grab. Oi! Yeah. Bang! Magic. And I wrote a book, Taylor's one of the chapters, so I got to spend a bit of time with her. And something that strikes me about Taylor, she's like a Teflon person, so she can roll through life, anything happens, and yeah. it just washes over her. So in a way, like... All the controversy was full on, but there was no better person to kind of absorb it and move through. Yep, agree with that. And she did so well. She handled herself yes. very well. Sammy, you mentioned uh, you mentioned Andy, Andy's connection with the big game on Sunday. Is that you, of course, the runner for AFL? Has he made an impact? Do you think he's been a presence <laughs> in, 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 the, in the AFLW? You yeah. know how much I love Andy, so I don't want to like <laughs> stitch him up or anything. But yeah. he, has, <laughs> he has the loudest voice I've ever heard on a boundary, men or women's really? footy. Really? Ever. So he's just standing. That's why he's hoarse right now. You've noticed he's got a voice sort of catch. Uh, I, don't, I don't listen when he talks. <laughs> <laughs> and the what? only woman.
woman that I've heard louder is Shani Layton. But you, <laughs> yeah, you and Shani, it's like she's a, loud. a voice. She's very loud. A thon. Yeah. Oh, what a, but well, you've enjoyed, you've really oh, have. Oh, God, it's been a privilege. You, no, it really has. He said to us after he said, he said, this is the best job I've ever had in my life, which we were kind of offended at. But, <laughs> but he, said, he said it's as much fun as I've ever had. And, and you love being around well, the you, Carlton. You, know, you love being around those women. Yep. You say you were genuinely been moved by Oh, absolutely. Experience. No, no, privileged to be part of it. Well, we've got some, yeah, we've got some uh, vision of you in the rooms last yeah. year. No, he, last he does week. seem at ease with them, doesn't he? Yeah, a little bit too comfortable, you would argue, because it's not really, it's not about you, by the way. The players are the ones oh, out I'm there. Fully aware of this. In the playing, in the conditions, in the sun. Have, have a look at this vision from last week in the rooms. Andy! Yes. Now, we're not as concerned about what you've got to say. It's in terms of the, the amount of sunscreen uh, that's given to the club. <laughs> What about That'll do, Andy. That's plenty, Andy. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> but I don't think you went bald. You just rubbed your hair out. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, got a second. No, very one, one more. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Andy. Here's an idea. Get a hat. Yeah. What's, just, what's it the... begs the question. What about just that normal? Yeah, uh, no, the no. Hats, I like running in a visor. The hats are too hot. I'm, I've, what do you got? I've, I've you, been doing this all my life. What do you got? A poker game to get to? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wear a normal Sam. hat. A normal hat. No, they're too hot. They're oh, no. running in 35 degrees. The hats are too hot. Sam. Okay. Sammy, they who are, wins? Trust me. Who who wins? Uh, Adelaide. I think comfortably. It, but. Out. Well, sorry. I mean, you know, no, I vote was... for Carlton too, but yeah. I'm just yeah. being a realist. Carlton is from Conference B. They're not even the second best team in the competition this year, but because of this crazy conference system, they find themselves in the grand final, worthy of that, yep. given the rules. But I think Adelaide will be way too, too strong. strong. Chelsea Randall, Ev Marinoff, Erin Phillips, and Hatchard, you name it, Stevie Lee Thompson. Too. I think they're, they'll Too win. good. Yeah. All right, thanks, thanks Sammy. Sammy Lane, everybody. Yeah,